It seemed like a regular morning. It slowly turned into a day we had experienced before. His mom was just 33 weeks pregnant. She had mild stomach cramps and she could barely walk. She felt like she was carrying around a boulder. I knew what to do. I called our doctor and he told us to come in to see him. Hello, this is Dr. Marty. Please, bring her in. The nurses attached her to a monitor. I think we are finally going to have a baby. Shortly, she was pushing and pushing. Our first baby was born. I was here. My parents gave birth to a boy. Everybody took their first glimpse of me. I laid in an open bed directly across from the front door of the special nursery. Overhead, three monitors. They displayed my stats in spikes and grass. Wavy green, jittering blue, loping red. She didn't like to see me hooked up to tubes. It would make her depressed. The nurses would always try to cheer her up with words of hope and encouragement. Sometimes it worked. Every day, the doctors would visit and give my dad updates on my condition. As a newborn, he was very weak and needed to increase his strength. The nurses would feed him vitamins and medicine every day to help him grow and become stronger. I would visit him every day after my shift from the car wash. I'd stayed until morning. I barely slept, and you could see it in my eyes. My son hadn't slept much either. He was too busy hollering and screaming. I could guarantee you that I was going to hold him, feed him, and let him know that I loved him. It's still cold outside, and I'm still in the hospital. I'm pretty sure most babies leave here a few days after they're born. I'm too small to go home. The nurses weigh me, and I feel lighter than a loaf of bread. His mother wasn't a regular visitor, but she would tell me things to say and ask for updates. When we visited together, we would take turns feeding and holding him. My dad continued to visit. Some days were good, and some days weren't so good. Sometimes I would be stressed due to medical procedures or the effects of the medicine. When this happened, my dad had to stand outside the nursery doors. The doctor and nurses were very hopeful that my son would be able to go home one day. They kept reassuring us every time one of us would visit him. I don't know what day it is, but guess what? Did you guess yet? I'm going home today! Over the next few months, our son grew stronger and was enjoying time with us. He was full of life. I don't remember much in between that time, but my life is progressing. I want to thank all of you who took the time to listen to this premature case. When my questions 
How will you be remembered? Legacy Writing Foundation is a nonprofit foundation whose mission is to improve and strengthen families through academics, communities, and social programs. With your help, we can shape a generation that will help change the world. With that being said, visit www.legacywritingsfoundation.org.